stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come coming out of today? Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And today it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Czechia up against Portugal. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek and thumped away Klojek so we can check on the lineup today well it's a defensive looking lineup but if the wing backs break forward the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other they should still cause problems today Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Vitor Ferreira in central midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Chance to put them in front. He's blocked it. start to this match just what they were hoping for well here it is again and the way they've been playing that was always going to happen they've certainly been piling on the pressure here So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Adam Hlozek. Portugal looking dangerous. It's Bernardo Silva. Oh, that surely had to go in, but marvelous defending. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Klojek. Very quick thinking there. Fernando Silva. Well, chance perhaps, nicely blocked. And there's the delivery. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. He's lost it. Big chance to get them on terms. And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Bruno Fernandes has it. Now, options are plenty. Timely intervention. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Well, unfortunately, it fizzled out in the end. Leal crossing opportunity and he has players waiting at the back post keeper getting the touch and at the second time of asking it's a goal the keeper meanwhile looks to the heavens well when you look at this again there's two things wrong defensively about this first of all the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown it's not good defending all round it's 
2-0 here and the ball is moving again Ronaldo Silva he could pick out a teammate and an astute piece of defending and what a magical save it was Delivering it. Well, the defender deserves a bit of credit, to be fair. Yeah, I think you have to give credit to the defending there. Just enough pressure to put him off at that vital moment. Well, those stats back up what we've been watching. It's been a really one-sided game, and it's far too easy for them to open up this defence. This could turn into a rout. Yes, they're having a field day in attack, and here they come again. And the pass getting in the way. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Well, the woodwork has just denied them a three-goal lead here, but you just can't see them throwing this one away, can you? And unable to find the target, they put themselves under pressure and have to start finishing chances. Well, frustration amongst the players. That was half a chance to reduce the deficit there. And a tidy challenge. Silva. Portugal finding space on the wing. Is it going to be? And alarmingly, that is a long way off target. So check. Ladislav Krejci losing possession. And passing it through. Oh, yes! Dispatching it with a plum. Wonderful goal. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? plays with a positional sense that is second to none excellent vision really sound defending and it's played into the center and we are going to have two additional minutes Leal Ronaldo shot attempted Oh, that's a fine save. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway step. So, the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Really good build-up, but no end product. Ronaldo threading it through. Well, the keeper touched onto the woodwork. Breaking at pace. Oh, great attacking play. And a goal! My goodness, they've changed the course of this game. Level now. Here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Rafael Leao. Oh, this is looking promising. 
Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Antonin Barak. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. Patrick Sheik! Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Palinha. Bruno Fernandes has it. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. And what a magical save it was! Trying to pick out a teammate. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Nicely timed tackle. Adam Hlozek. And Portugal will get the throw in. Given away by Portugal. So a half an hour remaining. Oh, good play this. Under pressure, can he do it? Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. And they're making a change. Ronaldo. Excellent block. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. And there's the delivery. And a struggle to get it away properly. Foiling his opponent completely. giving it away pretty simple for the keeper and in the right position to read it Ronaldo well, just the tackle that was needed Can they hit on the break? Chance here, and keeping it out. Well, the corner played into the box, and well, not the best clearance. And he thought, must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied, and they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Joao Cancelo. It needs an accurate cross. Fernandes. Shaping to shoot. And still an opportunity. On a time for composure on the ball. Antonin Barak. Just 15 minutes remaining. That's a good looking ball. And Patrick Schick now. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? And pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top class reaction from the top class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. Delivering it. Well, it still could be dangerous. No way through. Oh, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. Rafael Leao. Clean challenge. level pegging but can they change that Ronaldo Ronaldo 
Well, sometimes you need inspiration from your goalkeeper. Well, he's pulled off a decent save here, but more importantly, they stay on level terms. And he didn't miss by a massive margin at all. So check. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Jurasek. High quality defending. Oh, Portugal might be onto something. Can he put them in front? Just wanted to get it out of there. And making headway. And he could be in proper trouble here. And in! to produce they've delivered the goal well let's see this again he tries to run out with the ball he has the ball taken off of him he's made the wrong decision and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net terrible defending Well, back underway, and a glut of goals here. 3-2. Well, the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Now, who can he play it to? Well, it came to nothing in the end. And full time, the referee blows the whistle, and this is not the desired outcome from a Czechia point of view. Stuart, your analysis. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding. I know Ronaldo for a reason, Stuart. Fair to say, he's been...